G'day people, Great Southern Asian Miniature Man here, and I've got a little review and an unboxing, and I'll put together a few of these guys, Citizens of Rome from War Games Atlantic, and in the Gangs of Rome game, I guess, they're designed for, which is somehow a collaboration with Footsaw Miniatures. Uh, I don't know much about the game, but I know Footsaw have got quite a range of um, metal figures to go with it, uh, but obviously these being plastic, a bit more affordable. You get 30 guys in the one box, and a uh, number of sprues that are all the same, so let's just whip out one and see what it has to offer. All right. So... I think versatility is the name of the game here. It does um, tick a lot of boxes in that respect. It's got a lot of heads across the top there and some more up this end. And also this amazing Thracian helmet, which you'd expect a gladiator to be wearing. Um, huge range of weapons, lots of daggers, swords, spears, um, just a plain old staff. There's a couple of ones with amphorae so they could use them as weapons a roman pilum a couple of them actually um more spear daggers there there's a few uh bows a couple of bows and arrows so you can really do a huge variety of different sort of um troops out of these and likewise a number of different um uh top halves bare chested the one with uh half a chest covered and then uh fairly light um light cloth over the other guys so they're certainly um lower class um peasant sort of style people or troops if you're going to make them into soldiers um i was imagining you could probably use these as uh you know certainly velites maybe even hastati um the one thing they didn't include is any roman sort of uh, legionary helmets it would have been nice to have one or two just to um aid that variety but uh you've got other kits you've probably got plenty of them knocking around i think i might kit bash one or two and add a few of them to see how they look lots of other nice little tip bits to add on like a little pouch there what that is i think it's another pouch or something another one there i'm gonna look at them with some magnification to work out what the hell they are <laughs> uh we've got lots of extra scabbard swords in scabbards we've got a couple of greaves there so to put on whoever you like uh quiver for the bowman um, and this cloak system which is really cool so i think i have actually put one together already and the two pieces go together really well so victrix have got a few cloaks where there's sort of two halves and i've found them really fiddly to get together but these actually it's a much better system they go together beautifully one uh just sits on how to work again oh yeah so that's the top half so that just goes on to the bottom half whichever one you choose and then this one goes on the side so this is basically the arm that goes on the left side and uh, connects around the the top of that tunic so it goes together very very snugly and easily so way better than the ones i've struggled to put together um, from victrix um yeah it looks very very versatile and a lot of options i'm going to make um at least a gladiator i might do a cretan archer i've got um a few um uh what are they um ethiopians i think they are um that i'm putting together uh, for my persian army i might see if i can make one or two out of these as well uh, and then some as they're meant to be basically kind of thugs from the streets of rome so uh, it's going to be fun putting this set together um one thing I do notice, if you look at the box art, there's a couple of prominent women in there, here, here. So I was kind of expecting a few women options in the kit, but there aren't any from what I can see. None of the faces look female. Um, so that's one minor detraction. Uh, it would have been nice to have one or two at least uh, in the Citizens of Rome. I don't know whether women were excluded from being citizens. Anyway, that <laughs> might be why they're not there. But, uh, yeah, anyway, it would have been nice. But not to worry. Um, oh, there's a sling there as well. I missed that. So, uh, yeah, I'll put them together. And I will be back soon to show you how they look and give you my report of the process of putting them together. And then uh, I'll paint them up. So see you in a minute. Right, here's my first little look at the Gangs of Rome uh, fully assembled guys and sh just showing some of the diversity that you can 
get out of this kit. So this guy I've done as a cretin archer. I'll put a shield on him later on. But uh, he's just fired off an arrow. He's got the nice headband. And uh, uh, a lot of them have got this sort of snarling look on their faces, which is quite cool. So he's ready to go. This guy, uh, I don't know who he is, an adventurer, a wanderer, merchant, someone. A lot of character. I like his walking stick and his big cloak. That's fantastic. Gladiator, obviously. Thracian helmet, ready for action. He's a cute little dude. And then this guy who's going to be the one who's going to go into the Ethiopian contingent from the Achaemenid Persian army. So way back uh, hundreds of years in time. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really brilliant. Diversity um, and versatility that you can get out of this kit. All right, I will get on, paint them up, see what you think about them. And here we are, a few days later, I have completed some of these lovely and very interesting different sort of figures. So this guy I've done as a Cretan archer, and I've popped a little shield on the back as planned. Uh, one of the ones I've made out of credit cards, I've done a video on that if you want to check that out. We've got this sort of water boy who can bring an amphora of water to the hard fighting troops on the front lines. The adventurer slash merchant. Um, he's great actually, I like him. He's, he's a different sort of figure. I haven't got anything quite like him before. And then let's see a few that I've done a little bit of kid bashy bash work. So this guy, obviously a Roman uh, Republican. Maybe uh, Astarte, let's call him, and um, just got a different head, that's a Victrix head and shield. All the rest is from this kit. Um, next up I've got those Ethiopians I'm planning to use in my Kamenid Persian army. Uh, a little contingent of Ethiopians. So the heads are from the Sudanese kit by um, Perry, uh, but and the arms as well, but the bodies are from this Games Atlantic kit and then let's get these dudes off and whipped up a few gladiators as well let's have a look at these guys so these are all purely from this kit Some pretty ferocious looking gladiators there and just to compare them I got some of the old the only other gladiators I've got are from uh, Temple of the West uh, metal figures um, which are exactly the same scale so they can all fight each other to the death quite nicely um, so yeah they're brilliant it's a great kit it's better than I expected it's uh, more versatile it just gives you so many options and if you've got a few spare bits hanging around from other kits you can obviously um, you know multiply your options enormously and make some really interesting characters and different sort of figures so uh, um, um, yeah super super um, impressed and pleasantly surprised at the same time good kit if you like a bit of kit bashing get into it